here no. we have to leave and go somewhere. We have to go somewhere, yeah. And we don't know that place. Bags are packed. I mean, I mean, come on, imagine. <laughs> Kamala, you don't have to say Kamala. You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> See now we usually don't, we usually don't get here this early. That's why I'm I'm a little nervous, a little apprehensive to get to to get on the train, it to was, get on the tram. As, as soon as she was installed as the nominee, we knew we were going to be visiting this this a lot. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, for it you guys. is twelve weeks of Kamala, Woo. and this I, is week eleven, and I'm already <laughs> I'm already there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't remember Hanukkah being like this. Mm, mm. Let's see. Can't wait till we, we get to five golden rings. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see. Okay, there's some light at the end of this tunnel. Um, well, there's been question on whether or not uh, Kamala Harris, and I believe this, that she has a drinking problem. That's interesting. Well, no, I don't think, I think I may be the first to be saying that she has a drinking problem. Mm -hmm. Now, it's been kind of seen that she's, she slurs her words a lot. She, she exhibits a lot of behaviors of a, of a inebriated <laughs> person. I thought she was just slow. A drunkard. No, she's a fucking wino. That's what I think. <laughs> well, what, what, you got evidence? Like, what? Well, I'm just going to play some... Play some footage here. Okay. Now, this is people claiming that she's drunk on this. Um, but let's play it and see. Our extraordinary President Joe Biden. And he's going to speak in a minute, but there's a lot of love in this room for our president. Nah, I don't. I don't think she's drunk. That's her. That's her regular ditzy self, bro. No, there's a little bit of slurring going on. It's very. She's holding it. She's holding. She's together? holding it together. Yeah, but <laughs> there's also a glassiness to her eyes. Like wow. A glassiness that's going on. Yeah, a wandering glassiness. That's because she has no soul. There's nothing behind her eyes. Might be true. <laughs> Black eyes like a doll's like a eyes. Doll's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Biden go in the water. <laughs> Biden don't come out the water. <laughs> <laughs> you know what pisses me off a lot about the about her rallies too? What? There's no American flag. Find an American flag at her rally. There's no American anything. There's nothing. Like no American we, rhetoric. This is an American uh candidate and there's nothing American about her campaign. Well, that's cuz she's a fucking communist. Oh, well, there you go. Well, we'll, I, get, I, we'll get to that. Listen, though. No. I, I really hope the, the, the fate of this country is on people who, who truly hate black people. I, I'll say it like that. I, I don't care. <laughs> the, I, the fact that they'll be like, I don't want no black jigaboo in office. I'm going to vote. And that's good enough for They're me. They're going to save us. Because I do not want this lady in office. It'll be terrible. If she had good policy, fuck it. This but is what they I. They don't have policy. They're running off promises, they're copying Trump. Now you want to give $6,000 for a baby, but you want abortion. Pick one. This is what I used to always say. It's like uh, the, the, the whole racist, white supremacist, black versus white thing. I used to tell black people all, all the time this when I was a liberal. Mm. I'd say, you got it. Whether or not you like the racist white people that live in the hills, you know what I mean? You got to learn how to work with them because at the end of the day, when, when it comes to this whole thing of the, the fucking uh, tyrants taking over this country, the people who are actually going to be the ones to save us are the fucking racists in the hills, the militia. You get what I'm saying? That's the people that are going to be the ones who have the guns, who have the fucking strategy, who have the, the, the ground, who know the area. You know what I mean? Like, they're the ones that are going to be... Because, like, let's say the, the cities crumble, like, in a zombie apocalypse, where's the first place everybody runs? is to the, the fucking... To the hills. Yep. To the woods. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying, like, 
it kind of relates to what you're saying here is that you know we're okay we kind of kind of hope that they all come out in droves it's just it's just, there's enough of them let's just put our differences aside i could care less that you don't like me because i'm black i'm never gonna meet you but i know goddamn well that if this lady gets into the office it'll be a wrap for this country so i'd rather you go to the office with hating your heart to vote against her than not go at all that's what i'm saying yeah and listen we here's the thing that i that i hate about uh kamala's rallies is the photoshop job <laughs> on the crowd <laughs> have you seen this oh yeah i've seen all the ai pictures there's pictures where niggas got like giraffe necks like, yeah and they, it's like the same dude same yeah. asian dude four so, times some people's faces aren't like put together it's like if you guys are gonna do ai you don't even you're not even doing a good job yeah they look like the monsters from from <laughs> Yeah, they're they're faking the crowd size. That's obviously fake. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you can see it. I mean, are they standing in a giant hangar? What's this like? Sun. They're in it. They're they're supposedly in a hangar. Inside a hangar. Mm -hmm. On the tarmac. Yeah, with no reflection on the bottom of the plane, of any of them. Oh yeah, they do show that here. <laughs> That's the reflection. It's like Ooh. literally fucking. <laughs> it's box trucks. <laughs> that's a little. That's a little weird. <laughs> yeah, why is the reflection of the giant stadium <laughs> full of people? Full of people, not there. Mm. 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 Digital warfare, we're here. Yeah, it's the AI, the AI war. Mm -hmm. Whose AI is better? Yeah, pretty much. Um. So yeah. yeah well, there's it, well. As I, as I, sorry, I was gonna say it, it kind of ties into this whole thing that um there was this big thing that um she drew all these people to this giant venue, and it was it turned out that it was actually a concert for a band that had her there speaking. <laughs> she was a guest speaker. She was at a, a guest speaker at a concert. So uh, they, I, mean, they're, I mean, they're they're, they're gonna, gonna look. The media is really trying to make her look popular and make her seem popular, but we know the truth, bro. She's the most unpopular. Out of every Democrat that ran for for office four years ago, it's clear. Yeah, I mean, well, it, 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 the the problem, the question isn't whether or not she's popular right now. The question is, is this propaganda actually going to work? It's only working on the Democrats. I don't know, because then there's a like. Here's the thing that they're they're doing a lot too that I notice. Um, they're having a lot of uh, Republicans come out and vote against Trump because they're trying to make it that, like, hey, it's okay if you're a Republican and vote for, for Kamala. It still makes you a Republican and a conservative. No, it doesn't. And that's what I'm saying. It's because we have that attitude now. Mm -hmm. And the Democrats, you got to give it to them. They're smart enough to understand the fucking culture and the way that things work in this country and mm -hmm. the way that people think. Mm -hmm. Is that... Now we do have that thing of listen, you're not a conservative if you if you if you believe women have the right to abortion. That you're just not a conservative. You could believe in everything else. If you don't believe that we have the right to the to to uh guns, second amendment, don't call yourself a conservative, right? Mm. And then there's a couple other things that we can argue and bicker about economy-wise and you know stuff like that. Foreign foreign wars but there's specific things that we can't we can't budge on and the that hardline stances. the hardline stances and the democrats actually are aware of that and they're smart enough to know they have to attack that side of the psychology where there's people that are like now people that are on the right are scared to say they're not going to vote for trump look what happened to rittenhouse yeah. you know what i mean like there's a lot of people who are afraid of that but I, so i think at this point the, the reason why People like him and people like Nick Fuentes get a lot of heat. It's because at this point, anybody else that you vote for other than Trump is a wasted vote because nobody else is voting for that person. You know what I mean? So if we're in this battle together and we need to win because we need to repair this country. Too big to rig. We, we need to repair. No vote can be wasted because the Democrats are wasting the votes. They're coming up with more votes. So we need everybody to be on the same board. That's all. It's it, 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 unity. We need unity. I think there's a little bit of um, there's a little bit of panic when the elections roll around, and I've noticed this since we've covered multiple elections at this point. Right? Is that people in the media and people like in politics fucking change 
when election season comes around. And I know this isn't any groundbreaking news. The groundbreaking news would be more of the the media on the right wing, the so-called truth tellers mm -hmm. that are in the media that um are like switching up. They're getting like they're getting panicky almost. You know what I mean? Where they there's a lot of them that want to switch on Trump for for ridiculous reasons of like, you know, oh, he's uh pro Israel. And it's like, can we can we argue about that later? Yeah. Isn't there more important shit? It's just like when when I talk to the lefties and I go, look at the economy, look at the border, look at immigration in general, look at the the violence in the streets, the, there's no police, the the DAs aren't doing anything about it. But why aren't you voting for Trump? Cuz he's getting rid of the gays. Do we have nothing better to think about than he's getting rid of the gate? Do you re even really believe that? It's like fucking brainwashing, bro. And there's people even on the right that I'm seeing that are trying to get away from the Trump Trump train. It's NPCs, NPC culture. You know, they just absorb things and they regurgitate it. They don't have their own thoughts. They don't do their own kind of research. You know, I mean, you know, I say I do research. I do more than just the first page of Google for some things, right? So, right, right. Um, it, it's it, it's just interesting to see because these are the same people who 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 say that uh, everything Trump does is a threat to democracy, yet they won't take the time to look at the candidate that they're voting for or potentially could be in office. This lady is nothing good. Her track record is nothing good. When in people, when any people aspect, first started, when, when people first started saying that she was laying on her back to get ahead, I, I, I was thinking, okay, that was just some bullshit. You know, people just talk or whatever. But no, actually, there's proof that she actually slept her way. She to literally the sucked top. cock to the top. Yes, <laughs> it's like she yeah. ruined the family. She topped her way to the top. She, I, I just, yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. Um, I did want to find that one clip of her where she got mad. Do you want do you want Kamala Harris talking to to fucking world leaders? Like do you want her talking to you think she could hold a conversation with Putin? You think Putin would take her seriously? Putin I, don't even take Biden seriously. <laughs> I don't think she could hold a conversation sorry. With anybody. Like anybody of importance because I don't think she has that like confidence in herself. To, to be a, and a lot of men don't have that that's why we chose a lot of fucking weak leaders in the past Barack Obama didn't have that that's true he's a fucking weakling he's bowing to, to other world leaders meanwhile Trump's walking by like grabbing them by the arms like what's up <laughs> motherfucker <laughs> it's like it, it, well that somebody brought up a question to, um, I was in the Hake chat and somebody brought up a really interesting question and it may, you know, it may may spark a conversation or it may be obvious, but is it better to have a president that's loved or a president that's feared? And and what I'm talking about to make the conversation be something is let's take you have to pick one extreme or the other. But what what but what one person fears another person could love. You know what I mean? Like Obviously, people fear Trump for no reason, but we think that Trump would be the answer to the country. So I think that's that's it's only a loaded question because you got to ask everybody their own perspective. I I had to make it a loaded question because okay. I said we have to pick one extreme or the other. The, the, what, the, what, the, would you, what would you go with? I would go with feared over loved because at least fear brings the thing that we should all look for, which is respect. Love doesn't always bring respect. Feared by who, though? Like, feared by the American foreign, people? Foreign. foreign people? No, okay. no, no, not us. Not okay, us. okay, that's okay. Yeah. Not, yeah, clear that up, then yes, for sure. Easily, right? Easily, for Fear. sure. Yeah. Yeah, oh, shit, I don't, I, you gotta think three times before you do anything to step on American toes. Right, right. Yeah. Mm. But the, the, the real, I guess the way I'll put it is the, the Christian answer should be that we want we want a president that's respected. And I think that's the, the the best answer actually because of the fact that you get almost best of both worlds in that. Yeah. They're loved, they're they're loved and even if they're hated, like Trump, Trump has this where even in the things that people hate about him, even some of the things that I don't like about him, I still respect it. You get what I'm saying because it's it's him, he knows what he's doing. He's proven himself. Yeah. So it's it's more respect. Like Putin and um 
uh, Kim Jong, right? Uh, I don't think either of them actually love Trump. I think they respect him, though. And they, the part of them, like, wants to, like, wants to rub off on him. Mm-hmm. Like, they want to kind of, like, see what he's about. Like, he's in, he, he intrigues those guys. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Because he's different. Yeah, there's no other president that you could say that does that, that has that thing. Mm-hmm. So it's almost, you want to call it the it factor or whatever the fuck, but. I think, I think it's just different. We've never seen, we've never seen somebody as brash as him be be the president you know what i mean like most presidents are reserved you know like bill clinton was probably one of the most like popular and reserved presidents but he was doing some shady shit in the background you know what i mean so all these people who who have this this glow about them and everything is perfect but then you look at trump he's got flaws but he knows he's got flaws and he doesn't care he always does what's best for the country and i think that's what matters to most people well that's one of those things is that when we did the thing last week where Trump was like basically roasting himself mm. in like a couple clips and it took, it takes away. That's why I love those clips too, because it takes away the whole thing, the whole narrative that he's some kind of narcissist, that his image is this and that. And he'll, he'll kill somebody for his, you know what I mean? Right. And it's like, it's like, no, he's like literally a dude that in front of 30,000, 40,000 people, he's roasting himself and pointing out something really embarrassing that, most men don't even want to like acknowledge that they're kind of going bald and they have a comb over. You know what I mean? So it's like he has that in him that he can kind of critique himself, I think. Yeah. I think way more than even Republicans give him credit for. They just it's fucking rhinos. There's a lot of you know, there's a lot of rhinos in, in the Republican Party. I've noticed that. Absolutely. It's, yeah. It's weird. Yeah. Like I've never seen because if you look at Democrats, that's what I'm saying. We need unity. Democrats are unified in everything. It's only Republicans that... No, no, no. no. I'm going to show in a little bit. I'm sorry to cut off your point, but I'm going to show in a little bit that uh, actually, maybe we'll just get there. We'll get there now. You talk about the the terrorists? I'm not talking about them. No, we are. (laughs) We are. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not talking... In terms of... um, I, I wasn't using them as an example. I was using, like, regular Silicon Valley white democrat as an example but i know where you i, I, I know where you're going you, you well know. i'm gonna i'm gonna play clips later but we're still in kamala land actually yeah yeah we're still in kamala land. So let's do one last look away from the screen we got one, one last ride <laughs> one last let's let's leave on a fun note we gotta grab a turkey leg real quick <laughs> yeah yeah i gotta get that that funnel cake that funnel cake need that oh wait this is the wrong one Well, you know what? Real quick, we it is important. Let's play this one too, because Kamala, she does something very slick here, because you know that that Trump already agreed to all three debates with her. Mm-hmm. He even said that the dates and all that. And this is probably one of the smartest things Trump did because now listen to her answer when she was questioned: Are you going to be participating in the debates? Have you agreed? Listen to her answer. Madam Vice President, Donald Trump agreed to three debates. Will you be participating in all three? I have always been on record. I am looking forward to debating Donald Trump. And we have a date of September 10th. I hear he is finally committed to it. I'm looking forward to it. What about the other two? Let's make sure we get this photo of everyone. Look right here. Right <laughs> she didn't hear him. She didn't hear him. We have a date in September 10th, and uh, I'll be there. What about the other two? Oh, yeah. Now it's you know obviously brings up the question is she is she just trying to get out of the deb- or she's leaving you know wiggle room so that she can go well, I never agreed to all three debates I mean, when she gets fucking wiped the floor wiped with her fucking weave I think it's just coward cowardice that she doesn't want to go on Fox it's like how many times does Trump have to go on your network with your people what. Well, moderating fox is the first one from what i from what trump oh, really? said yeah the september 10th is the fox one oh, okay so it's she the first going. one all right fair enough yeah, yeah, yeah if i take it back then then she's got okay let's see what she's got then now i'm surprised she agreed to that the the question is this right there well actually there's two things at play here um one is it is it strategy of like let's say he destroys her on the first debate Obvious, the obvious strategy, and this is why I don't understand why she doesn't just accept all three, is that she can make the 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 virtue signaling stand of I will not like how B- Biden did. 
on 2020 election. Mm. I'm not going to dignify him after, you know, he basically got destroyed. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not going to dignify him with two more debates. And that's all, that's all she has to do. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yep. That's true. You know what I mean? She doesn't even have to agree to one debate, to be honest. She, you think she's going to show up? I think she'll show up, but she's leaving wiggle room. But to drop the last two. This okay. is where I think she's going to be forced to do a second debate. Because she's going to lose so badly. She's going to lose badly on the first one, right? And then they're going to blame it on Fox. Mm -hmm. They're going to, oh, well, she was in Trump's this and that. And then they're going to have they're going to build it up to where she's going to have to do it and Trump's going to go, "Well, let's do it in fu on CNN." Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. I don't give a shit. I did how many of those already? <laughs> I could do it again. I'll do it again. Yep. I did, matter of fact, I did like 3 of them for fun. <laughs> for funsies. <laughs> Just cuz. <laughs> did like 3 town halls. <laughs> um so I think that's where she's going to be put in a bad position of like she's going to have to take a second debate. Okay. Now, this is the other question that I heard floated around. Does she know, because supposedly Trump is supposed to be sentenced on his New York thing mm. after the first debate, mm -hmm. which I don't think this gives that away, because I, why wouldn't she just agree to all three? And then if Trump gets sentenced and sent to, supposedly he's getting sent to Rikers. That's crazy. Yeah. How the so, fuck is that going to work? I don't think it, it's going to work. <laughs> I, don't th I think it's just not going to happen. I would listen. I wouldn't put it past those those Democratic judges in New York to fucking try to throw the book at him, bro. Like you can't have Secret Service in the jail. How's that? That's not gonna work. Well, that's supposedly right now they're getting Rikers kind of set up just really? in case. Oh, that's or nuts. they know they know that he might actually get sent to prison. He might get sent to Rikers Island. Still vote for him, of course. Yep. Even fucking more. He's gonna be the first president in jail. In jail. Yep. Yeah. And that's a good way to actually get your, uh, your, um, the anarchists. You go, hey, wouldn't it be cool to have a president that's in jail? <laughs> That'd be pretty crazy, yeah, huh? Fight the fucking system, man. Hey, bro. Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> Gotta get him out. <laughs> yeah. No, but that's, I hope it doesn't come to that, but we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's gonna get pretty fucking dicey. In the next couple months, I'm telling yeah. you guys. Yeah, I'm looking for some stock. <laughs> that was the time to invest in something. So what happens now if Trump, because they say he's looking at a year. So what happens if he wins? Does he actually sit in jail for a year, for his first year of the no, presidency? I think, um, I think what they'll do is, is um, there'd be no reason for him to actually sit in jail. People get on ankle monitors for less. You know what I mean? So, you, you know, you throw him on an ankle monitor and he can't leave the White House. It's in the White House anyway. Well, there's a lot of people that go, oh, well, they'll just pardon him. But it's a state crime. He can't pardon himself. He can't pardon himself. Yeah. So, you know, if he's sentenced, I, I, I can foresee the lawyers making a really good argument for why President Trump should get a ankle monitor <laughs> and not actually sit in jail for a <laughs> house arrest. Crime. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, but we'll, we'll, I don't know. I'm not a lawyer, so. But how do you even figure that out? Like. Because you can't have the argument of like, well, he's a flight risk. It's like, yeah, he's the fucking president. Fucking <laughs> of course president. he's a flight risk. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> but is he really? Like, because he's got, got people around him. Well, the thing is, anywhere he goes, you know, there's certain times that the president will go places that we don't know where he's at, right? So obviously, for security reasons, an ankle monitor probably wouldn't work because if somebody hacked into it, they could get information on where he's at at all times. So that even in that is a, is a that might not work. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. It's it definitely is a fucking weird weird place. Um, Lisa Marie says that she hasn't agreed to the Fox debate. Ah, okay. uh, Fox was going to be the eighth, and CNN is the tenth. Oh, okay, okay. I might have got the dates mi mixed up then. Okay, all right. Yeah, so she agreed. Thought. She said specifically the tenth on that video. She said the tenth. So of yeah. course she agreed to CNN. Of course. She God would. damn! What cowards! I told you. Holy fuck! <laughs> Fucking pussy! They don't. They want just. They never do it. Never do it. Why do we accept that? We shouldn't. We shouldn't accept that. But we do. Like, and I'm not saying we. I'm saying the society. Why do they even like? Even if you're a Democrat, why wouldn't you? Because they're pussies. That's they got pussy mentality, mm -hmm. pussy mob mentality. Yeah, they all think the same. It's hive mind shit. Fuck, 
fuck. That's fuck, the real fuck. cult. But and that's the crazy thing. That's why it is like it's almost hard to to say like we need to be more like that because we don't want to be. That's what separates us is that we are a little more we're more free thinking. But see, I, I think for and I'm only specifically talking about this election for the for the solar not based on, not based on who we vote on. Of course, like in yeah. this room, of course, we're yeah. both Trumpers. But yeah. what I'm saying is like the 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 fa- the direction that we go in project 2025 if you will mm-hmm. <laughs> great great work by the way yeah you're still behind it mm. <laughs> i'm not bad at it making christianity putting christianity back in school hell yeah they took god out and shit started going crazy yeah yeah that is true it's at, at least instill that that level or you know i'd rather have it there do they still you know if you want to sit it out go the fuck ahead you think they still do the pledge in the morning i hear they don't they don't right that's terrible yeah they (laughs) see it as indoctrination it's your fucking country it kind of is is indoctrination but it's it's for your country for your country you should be i think uh, there is a small level of indoctrination you should take yes yeah there it comes to your country you know what i mean like you go anywhere else People have pride in their country. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I agree with you. I can't, I can't even like push back on that. I think there is a, obviously that's, that's what separates America from, well, it's supposed to, is that it's there wasn't to. brainwashing and propaganda, but you know, yeah. that seeped in, that seeped in with the freedom. But there's, an, again, there's a lot of people who are ready to give up those freedoms because <laughs> the lefties are taking advantage of it. Drop of a dime. Yeah, exactly. 